Oh, so here's the sleeve that holds all my wire. And see how tight and binded and that loom, that electrical tape is going to go in and out and in and out. How long do you think it's going to take to have an electrical problem? Things to check on or move it somewhere or make it longer, I don't know. Let's go check the other side out. It's RV inspection day and today we are in Fort Myers, Florida about to inspect this Verona VBH. It's pre-owned a 2022 so stick around. Our customers are hoping that we don't find anything. We hope we don't find anything but you are going to find out at lunchtime and the end of the day. So stick around. All right first glimpse. Beautiful Super C. I used to love them. Now that I inspect them, I see them differently. So that's a question of choice. It's personal. It's always the same things. On my first glimpse on this one, I already met the salesman who thought I needed water to run the aqua hot. That's a salesperson. <laughs> you don't need water for the aqua hot. It's a system, but it's own. But, but, but they know what they're talking about. Yeah, right. Water in there. So the guy tells me, yeah, yeah, I put water in there last time they came here. Uh, okay, it shows that there's nothing in there. Well, that's probably because it doesn't read until it's 33%. Okay, so why didn't you put 33% at first? So now I just added water, but long story short, we're gonna go through this unit. It looks beautiful. I'm sure nothing's gonna happen. It's gonna be impeccable. I don't even know why they hired an inspector, but right away when I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm touching this, that's what I just did not too long ago. So I want you to see how in this is already in, and this is touching, I mean, it's. There I had room and here I got no room. So we'll see if there's an issue in there. Ah, it's just me anyway, looking at things a little bit too much in detail. So we'll skip this. Hopefully we'll see you a little bit later in the day and we'll try to bring you up to speed if we find things or else we're gonna see you at lunchtime. So come on in, let's see my first glimpse and we'll talk about the stow and go. So when I came in this morning, it was really dark in here, but I saw light coming through this shade right here. So we've got a rip in the shade above the over cab bunk. But let's talk about this stow and go, right? It's amazing. Yes, it's a super C. Not all super C's have this space. You can sit on the couch and watch the big TV right there. You can get to the kitchen, microwave, your pantry, the fridge. You can sit, have your lunch, dinner, whatever. And also get to your full bath, which is in here bunk beds if you're going to sleep in the bunks but you can also get to your bed in the back you have full access to this entire coach which is fantastic in my eyes in the comments below let me know how do you feel about this stow and go all right lunchtime recap people who know me know i have this feeling for rev groove construction the consistency of what they have is phenomenal for example on this roof that i just came down from you just have a vent cover and instead of having like every other manufacturer travel trailer fifth wheel tiffin without naming any specific brands put a vent cover put ceiling <laughs> they just spray shit around just so it looks gobbed out this is physically understandable and there's a common sense tape underneath put the thing down screws put a tape this wide on top and end up with the edges being sealant so you still wonder why i kind of like the rev group constructions that's why like anybody else they have their issue so let's go on this slide out so for instance this slide out have this roll that doesn't carry any weight when we open it that thing's not even rolling. So this whole slide out has the weight all on this end. So what happened is on the second roller, now it's gouging into the floor. So you see this, you see that indent. So when it's resting in, now the whole weight that is not carrying that roller is now on this one. It's now on this one, same thing. It's now on the fourth one. The last one is good because there's no issue, but that's my point. So. What can you do? I don't know, I, I'd have at least a roller adjusted in the front so it carries the weight evenly. But on another note, right there by the electrical. So here's the sleeve that holds all my wire. 
and see how tight and binded and that loom, that electrical tape is going to go in and out and in and out. How long do you think it's going to take to have an electrical problem? things to check on or move it somewhere or make it longer I don't know let's go check the other slide out all right opposite slide out we got three cross members you can see the hole here is what the gears driven to get that slide out in and out so what happened is you look at this plate here if you remember this morning I told you how tight this bottom was to the surface of the slide out this was really tight and that's why I said mm, it's a little bit too tight well, here's the culprit I think we found. So, see how this is chafing as it's closed over there? Here's the culprit. So now we're too much. There's too much adjustment to bring this slide out in for absolutely no reason. So this bulb seal is being squished to hell. And now it's going to be rubbing on this and it's going to, with time, go into the metal. You got to check that on your unit. So, so far, this is what I got. I know sealant here and there, but nothing. I can't even say sealant here and there. There actually was nothing all around it. So, after lunch, I'm doing my mechanical. I'm getting a little bit more dirty from underneath there, engine and all of that stuff. So, let's see at lunchtime what Lowell has for us in stock. So, it's lunchtime, and I found a lot of little nitty-gritty things. No big deal, nothing that will prevent them from buying it, but things that I know will bother her or him because they are particular and they're buying what they feel is new. So we're gonna start off with, you know, I'm doing the cabinets and of course we do our floors. So there is a floor to that cabinet. So I stuck my hands way in, making sure there's no soft spots right into a puddle of grease. I don't know what's in there, but it's yucky because they didn't clean it. I don't know what it is, but it's not wet from the faucet leaking or anything like that. But coming into the bedrooms in here, coming into the bunk area. So they had little kids. I'll just show you this beautiful tapestry that we have going on here. Look at this. We had a couple of little artists in here. So nice to leave that behind, really cute. But they also played with the shades. So none of the shades work, they retract down, they just stay down. And this screen is completely destroyed. So you know how little kids are, they've gotta to touch everything and poke and prod. So, so then we come into the bathroom. The exhaust fan, you know, when you're in there showering or whatever else you're doing, well, the vent cover does not open. The fan actually turns on, but the vent cover does not open. You definitely want that working before you head out on the trail. So we'll see what the rest of the day brings me. I've got my water to do. You know I saved that for last, hoping that nothing's going to happen, but we'll see you at the end of the day. End of the day recap. Beautiful unit, Rev Group. Yes, I kind of have a, I like them. They are consistent. Like I've said before, this one proved it again. The consistency of what they do, what they use for material, and what everybody seems to be doing together. Oh, okay, now I just realized. Elkhart, Indiana. Decatur, Indiana. 90 miles away. Oh, not the same people working there than working in Elkhart around all the same manufacturer. Oh, that could be the issue. Maybe. So let's go check what I found on this side. Now I just have a couple of more issues. Undercarriage, mechanical, everything was top notch, everything was perfect. I have nothing to report of any issue. What I have is an issue in this slide out. And I have an issue in this freight liner, freight liner, not Rev or Renegade, freight liner. So the fan, when you turn the fan for your AC, for your heat, whatever, when you turn that fan, that's a trip to Freightliner because that fan is going so it's rubbing on something. Brand new Freightliner. So the problem I have on this is, you know we've talked about hot skin. So we test the electrical current that can go from the unit back down to the ground. If there's a short somewhere, I've got readings that goes back. So between the carcass and the ground, I have a multimeter, I have a tester. So I read the volts that could go through. Five volts, five volts that would go from here to there could pierce your skin. So just give you a level of 
will have readings of three quarter of a volt, one volt, 1 1.2, that's kind of normal. There's always kind of a, an error of voltage around. But this one everywhere around the unit, I have zero to 1.2 in the back of this slide out. And when I end up in the front here, I end up up to 2.7. Five, I would have to report it. 2.7, I don't, it's not enough reading. But that, that's what I have for outside. But let's go check how that pans with what Lowell might have found inside. So it's the end of the day. And isn't it funny that Pierre was just talking about something he was having an issue with. And I just happened to have an issue on this side of my coach. So this electrical panel right here, the ceiling, the dinette lights, same here as it is in the bedroom. Nothing works when I push it on off, nothing works. Do you suppose it has anything to do with what Pierre had going on in that corner over there? Put it in the comments below. What do you think? Now, you know I save my water till the end of the day, right? So I did my sinks, I did my shower, I did my toilet, and no leaks, so I'm pretty happy about that. I just wanna remind you, this is a used coach. It's less than 14,000 miles. It's been well maintained. It's beautiful in here. There are minor little things. They had kids who colored on the curtains, who colored on the shades. They also have a few demarcations in the wood. When I say a few, just a little. I need to tell my customer though, she's pretty particular about that. There are a couple of rips in the captain's chair. Those are the kind of things that we expect to see in a used coach, but not in a new coach. One thing I did have right here, the true induction, as you can see, it's a different texture right here. It's like something kind of spilled over and got stuck there, I don't know. And also the refrigerator, I have a dent here and I have another dent over here. There it is right there, sometimes hard to see. And a couple of little marks right here. Not a big deal, but still something that I need to share with my customer because it is used, she still wants it new to her right? So it's those things that Pierre and I are very particular about. Just to give you an idea, there's my notes today. That's a lot of little things that Pierre has to put in his report. It's him that has to work all night, not me. Lucky me. If you enjoy these videos, we would love it. Give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, we would appreciate it if you would consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that notification bell so you'll be notified when our next video comes out. So remember, and do never forget. It's not about the destination. It's all about the journey. Put things that... Put a vent cover. Put ceiling. <laughs> They just spray shit around just so it looks gobbed out. Not all super speed. I won't take you in the bathroom. You know what a bathroom looks like. The skylight. Not the skylight. What the thing called? The fan. The, the, the exhaust fan. Yeah. Before you head out on the rail. On the tr I can't speak today.